and welcome to another video tutorial for Lightorama S5. In today's video, we'll be talking about the process of mixing motion effects in the Lightorama sequencer. In order to use motion effects on real lights through S5, you will need the Pro License level of the software. If you do not understand the basics of creating motion effect rows or using the motion effect generator, be sure to watch those tutorials first before continuing with this video on mixing. In order to create mixed effects, you need to understand the anatomy of the motion effect generator window and the steps you'll go through for adding your own modifications to an effect. If you've started experimenting with motion effects prior to this video, you're probably familiar with the left side of this window and choosing an option from the drop-down list of preset effects. If you only ever look at this drop-down menu and leave effects with their default parameters, it's easy to mistakenly think that the sequencer has limited options for effects, and you'll end up with your display looking like every other pixel light video on the internet. Everyone knows that this is a butterfly effect with no modifications. After choosing a base preset effect, the first tool in your creative toolbox is to modify the effect parameters, which are different for every effect and located below the drop-down menu with the presets. You can change the value for the entire duration of the effect, or have it change over time by unlocking the parameter slider mode and choosing how it changes. Green is the start value, and red is the end. Once you have your first effect created, our anatomy lesson shifts over to the right side of the screen. You can either go through the same process of selecting an effect and changing the parameters, or you can use these arrows in the center to duplicate the effect from the left or even swap the size of the effects later on. The next piece of the process brings us to the middle of the screen, which is how you actually mix the effects. The three windows above show what the left and right effects look like separately, and the middle shows what they will look like put together. The key to mixing motion effects is understanding how this dropdown and this slider interact. By default, the mixer dropdown is set to average, and this slider is all the way to the left meaning right now it's going to create an average of 100% of the left effect and 0% of the right, also known as just the left effect. By moving the slider, we can set permanent averages for this effect or have it change over time. If you want to see a preview of what your effect will look like, press this green play button in the center of the screen. Once you find something you like, you can save it for future use by clicking on the Favorites folder in the lower center of the screen, then clicking Save. In addition to the preset effects from Lightorama, I've created about 75 mixed effects on my own following the process in this video. To use one of your favorites later on, just find the effect and double click. Any modifications you make to a favorite won't change the original unless you resave. Every one of these mixer settings will change how the two effects look together so you'll want to experiment to find the best one for what you're trying to achieve. A common choice is to use the overlay option, which will overlay one effect on top of the other. In this case, it's left over right. Another mixer option is right reveals left, which can do things like turn an ordinary ripple into one made of sparkles. Or you can use right hides left, like having a curtain effect on the right uncover the wave on the left. Don't forget about checking out the mixer options further down, like mixing odd and even rows, or incorporating that mixer slider and dissolving an effect from left to right. Once you're happy with your effect and ready to add it into your sequence, just click OK. So the next time you look at the list of preset pixel effects and feel like you have limited options, remember the steps to using your creative toolbox. Once you choose a preset effect, you can change the effect parameters, Unlock slider mode in any parameter to change the effect over time. Add an effect on the right and average the effects. Change how the effects are mixed through the center drop-down menu. Then change how the effects are mixed over time. Once you've grasped the concept of mixing motion effects, you can even take it a step further and layer mixed effects on multiple rows to create an even more unique look for your prop. And that's all for this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you never miss a notification about new videos.